Skyler holds up his uh, Stefan Diggs jersey here. Honestly, did not see this coming. We've talked like all off season about how you know Stefan Diggs seems like he's probably still going to be there with the Bills. Don't really see why they'd move on from him. We've talked about how the Texans could easily add somebody in the wide receiver room. We really expected it. You, teams with a young up and coming QB while they're on a rookie contract have the luxury of adding as many weapons as they can around them to try and build that up. You even I know you have, were one tweeting out, hey. Let's get excited for Dell and Nico, but let's pump the brakes a little bit because they could be adding somebody, and I don't want to get ahead of my skis before they do that. Uh, I'll be honest, didn't expect a level of player like Stefan Diggs, but he is here now with the Texans. Skyler, let's start off, start off right there with him on the Texans. What does this mean for them? I think he's probably best case scenario for Stefan Diggs. Like if you're Stefan Diggs owner, like the way he fizzed out at the end of last year, at least in terms of his points per game, I will note he did have over 20% of the team's actual targets after their bye week. So it's not like he was completely phased out. It was just less efficient. The points weren't really there. Like you might see it as he took a step back, which is completely valid. But at the end of the day, I think this absolutely signals that Houston is trying to get another legitimate option in there and you can expect him to get used. I would expect at least 20% of the team's targets. It might not be, you know, almost 30% like it was for Bobble. This might not be 165 targets to find digs, but I still think like we're looking at a guy who's going to be getting maybe 100 to 130 targets, you know, in that range, which is absolutely a fantasy contributor in a high powered offense. You know, you can always, you've always been able to expect like six touchdowns from Stefan Diggs. I don't expect that necessarily to change if healthy. I think this is the best move. Like if you're going to say a, a wide receiver is leaving Josh Allen at this point, I mean, there's maybe mm. three guys, two, three guys where you'd be like, eh, I, I, they haven't lost value going to this new system and Houston's definitely one of it. So if you're a Stephon Diggs owner, maybe it's like a revitalization to him, at least in terms of what you were thinking you were getting, your how, what your, how your league was thinking about Stephon Diggs. I think it's exciting. It's a, it's a new start. He is, you know, 30 years old. So you're just hoping to get kind of, you know, one or two more wide receiver two seasons out of him, and you'll be you'll be pretty darn happy. Yeah, you know, you referenced that twenty four or twenty three season for Diggs, where it kind of fell off at the back half. First nine weeks, he's averaging seventeen point half seventeen point eight half PPR points per game over the last weeks, six point nine points per game. Uh, some of that, I think, also has to do with the fact that the Bills changed their offensive system a little bit there and became a little bit more run heavy. Wouldn't surprise me if that continues in this off season, continue considering they retain that new OC there. Um, and then with the Texans, like it's not crazy to say that you'd rather have CJ Stroud throwing the ball to your wide receiver than Josh Allen, no slight to Josh Allen, but CJ Stroud is that level of a QB. We saw as a rookie, even just how talented he is. Look at the offensive efficiency he had going for that team. Didn't matter which wide receiver he was throwing to. Every single one of them was popping off. We had Noah Brown having massive days. Like when that happens, that means the QE is at a certain level, right? That elite level. Nico Collins and Tank Dell, massive efficiency. Nico Collins was doing nothing before uh, CJ Stroud got there. Stefan Diggs. Obviously, plenty more target competition for him there with the Texans. I expect his target volume to go down. I would expect his efficiency to grow, though, with him having a little bit less targets, playing with C.J. Stroud in that offense with Bobby Slowick, who looks to be one of the better offensive coordinators we might have in the league right now. Yeah, like it kind of all balances out for me where I think a lot of people will look at this trade and say, ah, too much carbon target competition like this is a, a knock for digs. I don't really think it is. I think he stays right where he was, the way you were saying. Yeah, I think Diggs is the one. Absolutely no worries. Uh, the guy who's a, a like sleepy winners are the running backs in situation because if you're James Cook, I mean, we'll see what else they bring into the room, but a team that leaned a little bit more into the run, losing their lead target. I mean, they currently have a room with Curtis Samuel, which I'm happy to have, but if somebody's going to overpay, absolutely selling out. Uh, I moved him up. I think I have him like wide receiver 43 is what I put up today. Clear Shakir had him at wide receiver 47. I think there's optimism for both players. If someone's going to overreact, I'll still happily move them because neither one of them, we've seen seven years of Curtis Samuel. Good player. I think he's a fine flex filler. I'm not going to like get ahead of myself past that. And Clear Shakir is nothing more than like a really exciting dart throw. We'll see what they do in the draft. We might have, we might have that guy this year, you know, where mm -hmm. it's somebody who was, 
being mocked right now between maybe 110 to 205. And they're going to go to Buffalo in the back of the first, or maybe early in the, at some point in the second, depending where they draft. And he's going to slide up to 107 right next to, you know, Roman Dunes and drafts. And we're going to have Twitter going crazy. Um, but I think James Cook is somebody you can, you can feel good about, you know, at the moment, at least what this means for him. And then Joe Mixon, like,